be making bases. Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your man Ever J Music. I'm the owner of Beat Making Basics. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a solution to an issue when you're having no sound coming out of Logic Pro 10, okay? So go ahead and get subscribed to the channel, like and comment on the video, etc. at the end if you liked what I showed you, okay? So basically what happened was I went to a studio in Austin called Orb Studios, right? Um, I just wanted to cook up, wanted to, you know, get into uh, their C room, make beats, different things like that. Right. Um, they had a different interface. So they had an Apollo interface. I don't necessarily use the Apollo right now at my home or house studio, but they had an Apollo. So I had to go ahead and download some drivers and different things on my computer just to make sure that the Apollo interface would work. And when I actually hooked everything up you know, hooked up my MIDI keyboard, basically no sound was coming out, you know what I'm saying? So that was, a, that, of course, me being a producer, that's a huge part of what I, you know, what I was there to do. Um, but I was working with the engineer there, his name is Jimmy, shout out to him. And we, you know, he basically found out what the issue was. And I'm going to show you that in this video. So basically what you'll do is you create a software instrument track um, and say you, you're, you're pulling up like Omnisphere or one of the different you know music plugins i'm gonna pull up atmosphere let's click right here we'll click guitars all right so you hear it there right because it's basically an atmosphere atmosphere it will like audition the track if you click on anything right but when i go actually to play no sound is coming out all right and i don't even hear i don't even see like the meter going so like it's literally no sound coming out here it's like acting as if it doesn't even see the signal right when this first happened i was trying to come in here to logic pro 10 go to the preferences i'll go into midi we were, we were just checking everything um inputs everything you know what i'm saying resetting things all those different type of troubleshooting things but what the solution was right um is basically you're going to go over here to the inspector window so basically you have your track selected here and if you push this i that's the inspector window for those who are new to logic and if you come all the way down here where it says track and drop that window and scroll down to midi channel you see how it says all basically because you're using a different digital audio interface or sometimes like digital audio interfaces that have like multiple channels okay or plugins or plugs places where you can plug up you just have to select the first MIDI channel. So instead of all, you go to channel one. Okay. And now when I go to play um, Omnisphere, you're going to actually hear the instruments. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover. Again, if you're having um, a no sound issue, say you're using a different um, interface or a new setup, um, then just check in the inspector window and then go ahead and go to MIDI channel and make sure instead of all, you select one, okay? Again, shout out to Jimmy at Orb Studios. He definitely played a big part <clears throat> in us figuring this out and i just wanted to share it to my community here on youtube um and everything like that so make sure you go ahead like comment on the video you can say shout out to so to jimmy on this as well in the comments if you want but man i appreciate y'all watching hope this helps y'all out um because i know it can be very 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 frustrating when you're trying to create music and you're running into issues so this was a, a simple solution to another no sound issue again like comment and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one